So I've been given this old CRT computer monitor to try and fix. Actually, I've been given three. There are the other two. And well, this particular one has a very interesting fault. Apparently this monitor suffers from a, a fault where you'd be using it and it would click or fizz or or something. I'm, I'm not too sure. It sounds like high voltage arcing. Anyway, I'm going to power it up in a moment and let's we, we could see what it does. Now, actually, I don't have a computer that has a VGA port. Well, that's a lie. I kind of do. So I have this. I can try and get this bag open without disorienting people with my crappy camera work. In here is what would be considered an ultra portable PC from around 2007. There it is. I used to work for a compu uh, computer company, a repair computer company called Eco Computer Systems. And this is something I picked up from them. It's a, uh, it's a, I don't know what you call it, a, well, it's like a tablet really, but it runs Windows on it. But it has an all important VGA port. So we can now test the monitor. Oh, hang on, well, there's another issue. I don't have a fucking charger for it, so we're going to need to find one. Right, so here we are again with the monitor. I've got it powered up. Um, it took a while to find the charger that would work. Turns out I don't have any um, with the right plug on the end. And actually, I don't even... I had one cloverleaf type IEC plug to plug into the charger to, pl to, to connect it to the mains, but it had a, a uh, an Australian socket on it, so I had to wire in uh, a plug, which is something I haven't actually done for a while. So I've used a nice vintage plug there, very nice. It doesn't have, um, doesn't have sleeving on it, so very old. Anyway, right, so we've got the, the monitor on now. You can see me in the in the reflection, hello. And uh, not really doing a lot, really. I'm trying to figure out what's, what the issue was. I think the guy said every now and again when he turned it off, it sounded like it was popping or... That sounds like a bad ground on the CRT. So let's try that a couple of times and uh, see if it happens. Put the camera here, can we hear anything? <laughs> Doesn't appear wrong to me at all, to be honest. I don't really know what's going on. Hmm. Right, I think the best course of action is to take the back off and check, just check the EHT wire and the ground and go from there. Right. right, I've got the back off now and I've taken off the EMI shield or EFI, <laughs> EMI. Anyway, so I've got the shield off. So let's take a look at what a guan. Actually, a very, very simple monitor. There's not a lot to that at all. Very small power supply. And obviously, circuitry. That's very, I'm, I'm amazed by how small this is. Anyway, what we're going to do is check the grounding situation. We're going to discharge the tube or make sure that it's discharged and we're going to give all of this a good clean and uh, yeah cool so if you can as you can see it's actually now clean look at that looks lovely and brand new I've also cleaned under the actual dag earth I have checked the dag earth socket you can see it's uh you can't see actually because my camera work is awful it attaches through to the uh, the neck board onto this shield um it, it's grounded in so many other places this particular board so um i've diggered it about giving it clean 
So I'm gonna let this dry for a, a couple of minutes and then um, connect our H EHT back up and then we can power it on and see if the fault remains and if it doesn't then this one's done I think. Oh lovely. And just after a couple of minutes of drying, literally just me moving it from one table to another and plugging everything back in. Um, yeah. I mean, look at it. It's working as well as it was before, mind. And we don't have any uh, of that weird uh, sort of um, capacitor discharging flashing over type arcing sounds, so. I think that's a that's a success, that one. Lovely. Obviously, to prove that there's no issue with this, it would be soap tested with a screen saver on, I think, or something. Who knows? I'm going to try and uh, get something set up now just to have a moving image on this and leave it on for a couple of hours. Lovely.